Hoe heet jij? Welcome in this third video lesson of Start to Dutch. Level A1, lesson 3. Today we will cover personalia, the personal data. Hoe heet jij? Let's first take a look to the dialogue. Dialoog. Hoe heet jij? Ik heet Els. Mijn naam is Els. And what is your name? Mijn naam is Jan. Aangenaam. Aangenaam. Oké, okay, let's take a look to the translation. Vertaling. Hoe heet jij? What are you called? Ik heet Els. I am called Els. Mijn naam is Els. My name is Els. And what is your name? And what's your name? Mijn naam is Jan. My name is Jan. Aangenaam. Pleased to meet you. Aangenaam. Let's do a little exercise. Let's see what you remember of the new learned sentences. First, what would be in Dutch? Who are you called? Right. Who heet jij? Second, what would be, what's your name? What is your name? That's right. The formal variant of the second person is u. U you have to use for important persons like the king, for instance. Who heet u? What is uw naam? Okay, what would be in Dutch? I am called Els. Ik heet Els. That's right. And what would be? My name is Els. Mijn naam is Els. Okay. And if you're talking in a formal context, you would probably add not just your first name, but your second name as well, your family name. Then the third question is, what would be nice to meet you? Nice to meet you. Right, aangenaam. I'll give you an extra one today, which was not in the dialogue, a longer and more formal variant. Aangename kennismaking. Aangename kennismaking. Right, time for some grammar. Today we will learn the pronoun, pronoun singular, pronoun subject, pronoun possessive. Pronomen subject, pronomen possessif. The first person of pronomen subject is ik. And for the possessive, mijn. So for instance, ik ben Jan, mijn naam is Jan. The second person would be jij, or in the shorter form, je. And the possessive, jou, je. For instance, jij bent John, jouw naam is John. In a formal context, you will have to use u. U bent de koning. Uw naam is de koning. De koning meaning de king. Hij for the third person and zijn for the possessive of the third person. Hij is Peter. Zijn naam is Peter. And for a woman, zij or shorter form, ze. And for the possessive, haar. Zij is Els. Haar naam is Els. Let's do a little exercise then on the pronoun. Oefening. What would be the pronomen subject I? Right, ik. Ik heet Jan. What would he be the pronoun sub possessive, the pronomen possessive of my? My in English would be in Dutch. That's right. 
main noun, main being the pronoun, pronomen possessive. Mijn naam is Jan. What would be the pronoun subject of you? Who hate... That's right. Who hate jij? And what would be the pronoun subject of she? She, pronomen subject. Zij. Zij heet Els. Okay, then it's time for some pronunciation. There are a few difficulties today. First one is the E. The E. Ik. Ik. As you can see, you will hardly have to open your mouth. Ik. Ik. Second sound today we will cover is A. Jij, hij, zijn. As you can see, the mouth goes down a little bit. Jij, hij, zijn. And some gymnastics for your mouth now. It will have to open very far for this sound. Ah, naam. Naam. Aangenaam. Aangenaam. And now it will go wide open to the side, but not down. It's for the sound E. Heat. 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 Okay. What words did we learn today? Woordenlijst, personalia. Who? What does it mean in English? How? What? What? Heat. Call. It's from the verb heaten. To call. Ik. I. Jij. You. U. Also you, but the formal variant. Hij. He. Zij. She. Naam. Name. In Dutch it's important to learn it with the article. Article. The article can be de or het. We will cover that later. De naam. Aangenaam. Aangenaam. Okay, that was all for today. I hope you have learned a lot. Please repeat it if it was too fast. And if you have questions, you can put them in the comments. I will try to answer um, them. Of course, questions on this lesson. And if you didn't subscribe yet to my channel, then please subscribe. Uh, it's easier for me to make videos if I know that a lot of people will be watching them and if you push the bell icon you will get an email or a message in your youtube app when there's a new video that's all for now see you next time bye bye